intensity of this game comes a physical attribute to it, and uh, a lot of hits thrown during that first period of play. There you see a big one behind the Oshawa net as Keegan Gates runs his man into the boards. So that kind of set the tempo. Here's uh, Aiden Wallace trying to uh, make Dying a hit. And he got hurt there. there. Yeah, missed it, but apparently went off under his own steam and uh, appears to be okay. And here's Dakota Mermis there, a good hit, hard hit on McCann after the shot. And I think you'll see Mermis again. He's been a feisty guy so far in this game. And have a look at, uh, at this here, some more heading. This is a real physical game. Both these teams know the importance of it. They know that they're, bo they're both considered among the best when they're again. playing like that. Yeah, and as the Greyhounds now try and capitalize from that scoring opportunity, there you see Gabe Gertler with his 20th of the year. What a nice score is touch. Have a look again if they show it. It's just such a quick, quick turnaround, and Gertler beats him to the far side. Watch this here. No chance here by Appleby. Yeah, just turned and spun and fired, and uh, that was the Greyhounds' first shot on goal. And the Generals come back, though, to tie the hockey game. Uh, Lindbergh. Ben, ben de Sample passing it over, and uh, Lindbergh just puts it by Raymakers, who is pretty solid in that opening period of play. As we take a look at the uh, nifty scoring play there on the pass, and uh, Mercier had his back to the player, and that enabled Lindbergh to find an opening and put it by Raymakers to tie the hockey game at one. Gertner his 20th for the Greyhounds, Lindbergh his 16th for the Oshawa Generals. 14 shots by Oshawa, three by the Greyhounds. As we get set for second period action, it's all tied up. Greyhounds won, and the Generals won. Second Watch. period of play as the Oshawa Generals took control of the soccer game with four unanswered goals, and uh, the Greyhounds only with nine shots on goal in this hockey game. But uh, here we see the action starting as Michael Del Col gets a nice shot go that uh, beats Ray Makers on the far side. Amazing how those goal scorers find those open targets. Yeah, he's so, so, such a gifted player. Again, he leads his team in scoring for a reason. Kind of pulls it back away from the defender, then just unleashes that shot. And here he comes again as Del Col takes the feed and boom, right yeah. away, gone. Quick one timer, waste no time. You see the frustration there in Raymakers after that. What a nice three way passing play there, though. And again, Del Col, a, a quick, uh, a real nice finishing touch. Watch the big fella here. Look at that pass across. How many 6'6 six, six guys do you see <laughs> make passes like that? That was Lindbergh that knocked it in, and Joseph Raymaker's injured there as uh, David Miller's momentum took him into his own player. As you see Lindbergh just redirecting that pass, the Greyhound goaltender. And again, there's Hunter Smith standing in front and creating some havoc. Greyhounds came back, those Kyle Jenkins let one go right along the ice that found its way through Ken Appleby, and uh, that was the Greyhounds' second goal of the hockey game. And after 40 minutes of play, the score is 5-2, to two, as Salonitri was standing all alone there in front in case there was a rebound. There's your scoring summary, Del Cole with two, and Lindbergh with the other one for the Oshawa Generals. Jenkins scoring his fifth of the year at 19-12 by a score of 6-4. Mr. Appleby. Mr. Appleby didn't have very much to do in this hockey game until really the third period, but here you see the Greyhounds with some pressure and uh, David Miller. That uh, one there, just missed, yeah, eh? Just, just missed. kind of up over top. Look There's a nice save yeah. by Raymakers as Carlisle got around Spears, and then Carlisle took an extra shot that Raymakers didn't like. Some more action in front of Appleby. There you see Hoare standing his ground, and then Miller goes uh, top shelf. What to a the, nice shot, eh, by yeah. Miller. I mean, short side, that's a toughest save for a goalie to make. Not sure where you're gonna shoot it, and he just lets that go short side. Quick, quick release there. And it fooled Appleby, who Little see upset. by his reaction, yeah, not very happy with that. But then the Generals came right back, and there's Castles in front. That was, you know, maybe the dagger. The Hounds had made it 5 3. We're showing some life. And I think eight minutes or so still to go. And then just like that, Castle, he, or Castles makes it a three goal game. And then the Greyhounds come right back here as uh, Brian Moore puts it in. That was a two man power play advantage for the Greyhounds, unfortunately. Look at this, it was too real too unselfish there yep. by McCann. What a nice uh, pass. He had, uh, he, had, he had the goalie down and out to Appleby. And you know what, Brian Moore, he's not going to miss from there. So there's your scoring summary for the uh, third period. Miller his 13th, Moore his 15th, Cole Castles from Hunter Smith at 11.08, uh, Castles 15th of the year. 20 shots by the Greyhounds in this one, but the Oshawa Generals had 31, and uh, really Oshawa took control of this hockey game.